everybody, it's Devin from GadgetU.net and today we're doing a review of the 2.3.4 Gingerbread update for the Motorola Atrix. Uh, this actually released last week, so if you have a Motorola Atrix and you have not done your over-the-air update yet, go ahead and do your update and uh, pick up Gingerbread. One of the first things we're going to talk about is the actual look of it versus the original Moto Blur. Uh, if you notice, there's more vibrant colors. Uh, they've actually changed a lot of the icons, so on the icons themselves you get more of a gradient look now. Um, another one of the changes is on the bottom that snowy gradient look which I actually think is a really good addition kind of adds a flavor to the uh, to the home screen um, also uh, if you look on the very bottom of the dock you'll notice the uh, the dots on the bottom that actually let you know what screen you're on that's a big difference compared to the original Moto Blur to the original Moto Blur it actually stretched all the way across the screen which me personally I didn't really like it made everything look a little cluttered uh, another one of the differences is you can actually, the icons on the bottom, you can actually change these now, uh, in the dock, on the dock, I'm sorry, you can actually change them by simply uh, pressing and holding down on the dock and of course you can select uh, whatever function you want that to be from applications to shortcuts to contacts, uh, things of that sort. Uh, another big difference is the, uh, the uh, app drawer now. You actually have an option on the top where you can uh, you can actually categorize your apps now. Uh, your stock category, I'm sorry, we're going to call it groups because that's actually what it says on the phone. Uh, your stock category is going to be all apps, your recent, downloaded, and AT&T, which that will be all your bloatware. Um, if you do, if you actually scroll through your applications, you'll notice that when you hit the very bottom, excuse me. If you hit the actually, if you scroll towards the top or the very bottom, you'll notice the over the over scroll uh, glow, which I actually think is pretty awesome. In terms of speed versus the original Moto Blur, the home screen you're not really going to notice a really big difference. The only thing you're really going to get is the features I just spoke of, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. No speed increase at all. I think the uh, notification bar, the drag down, is pretty awesome. How you have the transparent look on the bottom now, that's pretty cool. Now, one of the biggest uh, arguments when the Motorola Atrix came out, or one of the biggest disappointments, is that it wasn't an unlocked bootloader. Now, with the new Gingerbread update, uh, Motorola has made the bootloader unlockable. So, of course, now and later, you'll be able to put on different ROMs, uh, overclock with different kernels, uh, things of that sort. Anyway, uh, this is Devin from GadgetU.net. This is my quick review of uh, the new Motorola and the Gingerbread for Motorola Atrix. If you want my opinion, I actually like it. My only complaint about this is you're not going to notice a big difference in speed. It doesn't feel like it's actually pushing out all the power of the phone. So anyway, this is Devin from GadgetU.net. Uh, follow at GadgetUniv on Twitter. Uh, again, GadgetU.net for all your tech needs. Signing out.